some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in St. Louis, Missouri, where the uh, idiotic frauditor known as Central Tyrant Investigations ends up trying to interfere in investigations and ends up getting arrested for his stupidity. And, well, he wants to file complaints afterwards. Well, good luck with that, you blooming moron. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Yeah, what's up, guys? Sorry about that. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to see what's all going on. It looked like they were roughing up one of the uh, guys here, so. I'm recording that. <laughs> This lady from the window told me not to put her in, in the camera. Like, I wasn't even facing the camera towards her. Liar! 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 Wow, way to go and make yourself look like a complete liar and moron right off the bat. You said you didn't have her in frame yet. You had her in frame just now, so... Yeah, big pathetic lying frauditor man. Yeah, typical. Hey, don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. I'm good here. Back up, you're going to get arrested. Back up 10 feet, and you're going to get arrested. Sir, you know there's no law against that. Yes, there is. Back up. Dude, I'm telling you, I know what I'm doing. Back up. Here, someone arrest him for interfering. How am I interfering? Staying on the public. I told you to back up 10 feet, and you didn't do it. There's no law against that. Yes, there is. It's called interfering. Interference, I'm on. I told you to back up, and you didn't back up. Oh, yeah. Typical frauditor bullshit. There's no law against it. Yeah, no law against interfering with an investigation or obstruction of justice or anything like that. Yeah, frauditor, why don't you spend a little bit more time uh, looking these things up rather than uh, saying they don't exist? Uh, yeah, then you'll be much better off rather than them making yourself look like a complete and uh, utter moron. <laughs> Okay, you guys want to go? What do you got going on this side? And this fool actually believes that, uh, well, the First Amendment grants him the right to do whatever he wants to do. Yeah, uh, dude, no, it doesn't do that. It's, it's a lesson that you're going to have to learn the hard way that uh, the First Amendment, the freedom of the press uh, clause, is not the freedom to do whatever the hell you want. It's about it's about the right to be able to publish your stories without government interference. And uh, that's something you idiots really need to freaking learn. Shit. Yeah, they messed up all my stuff, man. All right. All right, my man. Yep, I'm yep. I'm going to get my car. Yep, thank you. Right. Oh, my. Dang, messed my whole rig up. Yeah, Jenny, uh, I am hurting. I got stuff to tell you guys. Um, they uh, put the cuffs on too tight, way too tight. And then uh, 
I, I told him back in the uh, thing. I don't know how much you guys saw of that or how much you heard. Uh, one second. Oh, all right. So that officer does want my, uh, the, the captain who let me out. It, it was a black captain. She was cool. Everybody else, they're getting a lawsuit. This is definitely a lawsuit. Yeah, well, good luck with that. If, if, ain't nothing to scream in lawsuit but this one. Yeah, it was. St. Louis Metro uh, Police Department. I hope you, did you guys see all of that? I don't know how much you guys saw. But, uh, wow. Uh, Rutgers Street. Are you talking about like where I'm at now? Let me drive. I got to drive over to them. Because I did tell her I'd give her one of my cards. Uh. Uh, yeah, I don't know where we're at. What street we're on right now. I'm about to turn down one right now. But I'm on Jefferson right now. Uh, let's see. Rutger? Yeah, Rutger Street. You're right. Yep. So I got to turn down this road right here. Uh, where you got arrested. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Rucker Street. I got to figure out how to get over to this place. Yeah. So, guys. So, the officer, I told him my handcuffs were way too tight. Uh, and I told him that I couldn't breathe in the van because it was hot. It was super hot in there. No, I was, I was arrested. Not detained. Um, you can see my... My wrists are all messed up. Uh, so he had my Apple Watch pressed up against the handcuff. So it basically took away my circulation. Uh, I told him to readjust it and he wasn't wanting to readjust it at all. So I pretty much had to beg him to readjust it. And then on top of that, I asked for air conditioning. He then rolled up the windows. Yeah, I know, surreal. Hey, dude, it makes me stronger. <laughs> he rolled up the windows when I asked him for air conditionings, and then he, he like, hotboxed me, basically. Yeah, there was no crime tape. And that's what I mentioned to the captain here, and I, uh, it was a lady. Uh, Dickerson, I think, is her name. Uh, there was no crime scene tape up whatsoever. I told her that. So, I don't know what this car is doing here. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, that was crazy. Do you want my card? Hold on, guys. Captain! <laughs> she said she wanted my card. They just drove past and they don't... Uh... Alright, so that was a waste. Anyways. Lieutenant Gillant that grabbed. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to talk to this officer here because. Uh... That was bogus. <laughs> Bro, I knew I, I could tell. I could tell you're not a, a bad cop. I could tell that you were like, what the hell's going on? But that was bogus. I like I wasn't even behind the crime scene tape or anything. I was on the sidewalk. Ah uh, man, if they tell you to back <laughs> up, then you just got. Yeah, back I know. Up. Apparently. I'm trying to get out of here. Yeah, so. you're good, man. Yeah, you take care. Yep. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Surreal Cam. They said so. They said if they tell me to back up, I have to back up. How uh law, how truthful is that, guys? How truthful is that? And he said there's a ten foot rule. I need you guys to look up if there's a 10 foot rule here in St. Louis city. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to go to your, uh, idiotic fan base and ask them about that little law. Huh? Uh, why don't you do yourself a favor and well, look it up yourself. And, uh, that way you can have your own ass covered on that. Otherwise, uh, you might end up getting, well, 
the shaft at that point, but simply because, you know, there are a lot of people like yourself that will try to lead everybody else astray and not even give citations at that. Oh, I am hurting. But yeah, guys, I'll take that any day. But I thought they were trying to trying to take me out in the van, though. Uh, Yeah, they are. Well, no, that guy, that guy didn't he didn't look like he wanted what was happening to happen uh, at all. You could just tell by his, I could tell by his demeanor that he was looking at the other officer like, bro, like loosen his cuffs. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, thank you for coming on in. I'm, I'm going to give a full recap whenever I get back to the uh, house. Uh, so I, I, I thank you guys for uh, staying tuned. And if you donated to the channel, I appreciate, but I'm definitely going to, talk to uh my lawyer about this yeah that was unacceptable i think they were trying to scare me yeah that is true if he didn't say anything he's a bad cop that is very true but that just that just makes me want to wanna press on even more that just motivated me even more get these bad cops out the uh out the department but it looks like it's the uh whole place oh funny thing the chief of police was standing there the chief of police was the guy who came down and he was like oh well uh so definitely going to be filing some complaints and talking to a lawyer yeah just like every other auditor threatening to file lawsuits and everything like that and filming what you did wrong to begin with and therefore many times the lawyer won't take it because well you were stupid enough to film it to begin with on your own and didn't take any legal advice from anybody else but your idiotic fan base which probably doesn't even have a uh, high school diploma collectively uh yeah that's really pathetic on your part dude so guess what i'm guessing that these complaints will end up uh well just like every other fraud or complaint well being put into file 13 and used for recycling. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?